In this video, we'll talk more about for loop. We'll see all the flavors of for loop, all the functions that we can use, all the things that uh, we need to control the for loop execution. Uh, so basically, we have one dimensional things, we have two dimensional things. But in this video, specifically, we'll see some examples in one dimension. And in the next tutorial, we'll talk about two dimension things where we will cover uh, nesting of loops also. So let us uh, begin with the uh, for loop. Uh, uh, basic syntaxes as we have seen in the previous video the syntax of uh, for loop is very simple you need to have a counter if you know the count of uh, times for which you want to execute something uh, you can uh, put the starting uh, counter here and the ending counter here and then if you say next uh, that will end up the loop and anything you write in between this for and next will get repeated uh, n number of times uh, which you control by this counter so I have added up another sheet and let us let us say uh, I want to print uh, uh, numbers from 1 to 20 in uh, this column starting from cell A1 and up to A20. So how can I achieve this is uh, very simple. I know that I want to uh, iterate uh, this loop for 20 uh, cells and I, therefore I know the counter. Basically what I is controlling, I is controlling the row number because I want to first write it for row 1 then for row 2 and so on and so forth I'll write it for row 20 column always remains same because I'm writing here in these cells it is always 1 right and the value uh, would be again dynamic because I need to print uh, the value 1 2 3 4 it is changing right so I'll put a cell reference here since row number is changing with the counter variable so I'll say that row number is variable i and column number remains same which is 1 always and its value is again if I need to put a static value let's say my name or something else then you can use it like this and it will keep on uh, let's say for the time being I put my name here and let's see what happens so it put uh, this text one by one in all the cells and if I show you the execution so let us uh, delete it if I show you the execution see how it works initially the value of i is 1 you can see here on the mouse over and then it prints in uh, cell 1 comma 1 its value is assigned as Kamal then it comes back with the incremented value of I then it, it writes in cell 2 comma 1 and then 3 comma 1 4 comma 1 5 comma 1 keeps on writing till 20 comma 1 and once it finishes uh, with the 20th uh, record it will move out of the loop now this was for uh, same uh, uh, content which I wanted to print uh, all the times but now I want to change the value dynamically uh, relative to uh, uh, the value of the counter let's say I want to print the counter itself so now when I run uh, for the first row the value of i is 1 therefore it prints 1 for second row it prints 2 3 4 5 and so on and so forth similarly if I want to th do this thing for 100 I just need to replace the end counter and it will do for all the 100 rows so that is very simple and that's how uh, loop statements makes uh, our life easy. Now uh, since I'm going every time and clearing these cells, again this is a hectic job. So better we use uh, the function for clearing all the cells. So I'm specifying a range here that in column A uh, just clear everything every time before uh, running anything. So, so when I run this, it let's say 400 next time when I do it uh, for 10 it first clears all the cells and then do it for 10 so you see it, it first cleared and then uh, rewritten all the values so that is uh, for one such example of our loop now let's say I want to uh, I don't want to print the numbers but I want to print a b c d e f g h and i and let's say j also first 10 characters or alphabets of uh, english so now uh, i know that i have a function if you remember in the string functions we had uh, one function which was returning uh, the character value corresponding to a sky code so you know that uh, for uh, the sky value of a is if we check here the sky value of a is 65 so we'll use this value to print the character 
so character corresponding to the sky value 65 now when I do 65 it will always write 65 let's say I put here column 2 so and I want to clear let's say column B also this time so it clears but it always prints character 65 that I do not want to do uh, I want that uh, for the first cell it should print character of 65 a sky value then 66 then 67 so I need to make this thing dynamic so if I make it 64 plus I so initially the value of I is 1 so that makes it 65 that's why it will print A next time it will be 2 and then 64 plus 2 will be 66 so on and so forth the value of uh, this 64 plus I will increment by 1 and will get a new character every time for all the uh, execution loop so we get A to J here let's say we want to print all the 26 characters so just make it running for all the 26 characters so you get uh, all the 26 alphabets so this is how we can control in one dimension now let's say uh, right now we have done it for uh, vertically uh, let's say I want to print these things horizontally so again that thing is very easy uh, I want to write 26 alphabets but this time I want my row number to remain static let's say I want to write on fourth row so I will make this row fourth but the column number is changing let's say with the reference of I so initially for first time it will be writing in fourth row first column and then fourth row second column then third column and so on and so forth it will keep on writing horizontally so this is how we uh, write vertically or horizontally uh, in one dimension another important aspect of uh, for loop is let's say I again come back to the same thing for the first column let's say I want to print the value of I okay let's say in the second column right so and I do print let's say 10 right so when I do this it writes uh, first 10 numbers in second column right now I want uh, since you have seen that uh, when it uh, execute first time it auto increments the counter there is one keyword by which you can control the counter which is step right by default the value of step is 1 so if, if you write step 1 the execution will remain same nothing will change but if you change the step size so initially the value of i would be initialized as 1 right when it execute first time and it comes to next statement the value of i would be incremented by this step size instead of incrementing by 1 it will be incremented uh, it will get incremented by 2 so you will see how it executes clears it then initially value of i is 1 so 1 comma 2 yeah, uh, that means uh, first row second column value is 1 and the value of i get incremented by 2 so this time it won't write in cell 2 comma 2 but it will be writing in 3 comma 2 so 1 3 5 7 9 and since the 10th value is not get, uh, got printed because step size was 2 it uh, after 9 it reached 11 and once it is 11 that means it is uh, out of uh, the bounds of uh, for loop it will move out of the loop that is one thing one more thing is exit loop let's say I want to exit out of the loop at any point of time so what I can do is exit for so if I write this statement right let's say it printed first value wherever it finds exit for it won't care about the upper and lower bounds of the loop it will simply move out of the loop right so that was another keyword uh, the next uh, thing is uh, uh, for each loop so uh, we have seen in the previous example let's say uh, if we know uh, that we have an array or uh, some sort of elements uh, on which we want to iterate so how we can use uh, for each loop let's say we define a as a variant right 
and uh, let's say you have some string here in this cell or maybe let's say I ask user to enter any string so I use input box and then I ask user to enter a string enter a sentence right and I save it in a variable a right let's say a and I declare b as variant right and here I define the p is nothing but split down a on the basis of a space right so b would be an array right now I want to iterate for all the words of the string which user enters so for each x in p p is an array I want to iterate and I want to print all these one by one in one cell of column one so cells uh, I need to know the row index or the column index or let's say for the time being I want to print on console debug dot print just x so when I run this it asks me to enter something hello Kamal how are you now this is my string you can see that here we have uh, five words in it so a is a string p is a array which has all these words uh, split down by space so we have five elements of this now this loop will get iterated five, five times one by one it will be printing on console all the words see we have not uh, specified any counter here because we were taking input from user otherwise we, we could have uh, used for i equals one to five but we cannot do that in this particular case because we don't know uh, what would be the length of uh, uh, input that user would be providing it may be having only two words or it may be having thousand words so depending on that uh, this loop will automatically control the counter based on the size of uh, the array that we provide here so that's uh, about the for each loop um, so we have uh, seen uh, example of uh, doing things in one dimension in the next tutorial we'll see how to control things in two dimension thank you for watching this tutorial